Hello everybody, Whiskey again. Got another Path of Titans video for you, and you guessed it, gameplay on Arizoa as usual. Arizoa community server, it's a great server, highly recommend it for anybody that wants to try it out. Um, I can put a link in the description below if you're looking to check it out. If you're looking for a server that has uh, some fair rules, makes it for fair gameplay, uh, it's got a great mix of PvP and realism. Uh, there's a focus on realism in this server, but they allow for a lot of really good PvP as well. So I enjoy it a lot, and uh, I highly recommend it. Um, this is uh, Dido here. This is his first time ever fighting on a Giga. We just raised him up to adult, and we came into Grand Plains and got into a territory challenge with a Rex. And we ended up forfeiting. I uh, made a mistake in the fight and ended up getting bone broken. And then there was some... Uh, some biting. We, we probably could have, at first we were going to try to face tank the Rex because I think we had him low enough to where we could have done it. But in the fight, Dito being a new inexperienced player, some of the bites that he was biting were going through the Rex and actually hitting me. So um, obviously when that happens, it's a, in, in a Rex v Giga fight, you need all the HP possible because it comes really comes down to the wire in those. And so that would have been enough DPS for the to give the Rex an advantage that we I just forecalled. Um, but you know it's a it's something this game uh, it's unique to this game. I don't I don't understand why this game has such meshing problems, but it does. Um, you can you know phase through the other dinosaur, and when you're biting, it's really not making contact. It's just sort of like biting through the model of the other dinosaur. And so when that happens, you can actually make contact with your ally, the person in your group, and that'll that'll put you at a bad disadvantage because you're obviously you're helping the opponent at that point because you're doing more damage to your your own group. Um, I, I don't understand why that's a thing. I, there's plenty of games out there that don't have that issue at all, and I think that's one major flaw of Path of Titans that they could fix, and I don't understand why they don't fix it because they've got the Unreal Engine. They've, I mean, there's there's plenty of games out there that have no problems with that type of an issue, but for some reason Path of Titans does. Uh, but anyway. Um, that happened. Uh, it was a good experience. Really, the whole thing, the fight with the Rex, was more to get Dito some experience doing it. So, when you're fighting and you're growing, and you, when you're when you're a new player and you're and you're learning to fight, and you're getting better, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of losses and you're gonna have a lot of deaths because that's the only way that you learn. As long as you learn from those mistakes, uh, you'll get better every time. So that was really the goal. And of course, being in Grand Plains, you've got other carnivores lurking around, and when they see a territory challenge like that, if they're hungry, they are going to third party, uh, probably the losing apex, the one they think is the lowest in health. And that's all fair play, it's part of the rules, it kind of sucks sometimes, but it is, it is part of the game, and it's part of the risk you take when you go to GP. Um, that being said, you know, there's a couple of different types of players. There's players that are, that go to GP when they, uh, are looking for players, when they're looking for food because they're starving and they've been all around the map and they've, you know, kind of are, are at that point in time, um, desperate for food. So, hey, you know, sometimes you got to say, let's go to GP because why? Well, that's where you know where all the players are. It's unfortunate, but that's the thing that happens, especially on a Rex, being on a Rex, uh, in the forest, you can spend hours in the forest and not say anything because all the players know to avoid the forest. There's Rexes in there that ambush, and a lot of players like to come to GP, so you can spend a couple hours on a Rex in the forest, or even on any dinosaur just cruising around the map looking for stuff and not see anything for hours, for two hours, three hours at, at a time. Um, or you might see the occasional, you know, fast little creature that runs by, or, you know, there's probably stuff hiding around that you never see. Um, and so you have to come back to GP because, you know, that's where all the players are going to be, and that's where you have the best chance of getting some food when you're a carnivore. So you do that, then you come to GP, and you see a Terry, and then you go and hunt down the loser of the Terry or something that you think is low health so you can get some food. I totally get that. That's totally fair, realistic gameplay. I've done it too. But the other type of player are the players that only hang out in GP all day long. And that's all they do. And they sit there and they wait for this type of thing to happen. And they're waiting and they maybe just, just got to hunger level to hunt. And now they go in the third party. That kind of stuff I, I don't agree with. That's just... It's lame. I mean, you have no challenge, you know. 
you're not really doing it because you're desperate to hunt, but you're doing it because you just want to get a kill. And I don't understand that at all, uh, but it does happen. So again, that's the risk that we all take when we go to Grand Plains. We know that those types of players are out there and we got to deal with them. So I don't know what these guys were doing, um, whether which type of player they were. Either way, it doesn't matter. It was a good fight either way. But uh, what we were doing here is just using, we have to make our way out of the territory because we did lose that territory challenge. But we do also have to uh, defend ourselves against this hunt. So the players uh, that we were fighting on these aloes were making comments in chat about how we had to leave. And they were trying to put unnecessary pressure on us to get out of the POI. Um, hoping that we would, you know, run away, waste our stamina, leave, our, give, leave ourselves open for attack so that they could get even more of an advantage on us because they already know that I'm really low. So they're focusing on the weak low player and then on top of that they're trying to put pressure on us so that we expose ourselves and focus on, you know, getting out and not focusing on defending ourselves. So they are right, we have to leave the POI, but the, it's the Rex's responsibility really to force us out of the POI, not theirs. And so by them saying that, it's a little metagamey, it's a little bit cheesy. I think they're just trying to gain another uh, unfair advantage on us, but either way, we deal with it. We do have to leave, they are right about that, but we don't have to leave in a careless and hasty way that's going to leave us exposed and waste our stamina doing it. We can do it in a patient and careful way while defending ourselves, and that's what we were doing. I think Dito, being a new player, would have maybe been afraid to get an RB and maybe started running out thinking that they were supposed to do that, and, uh, and that possibly could have got him killed. A lot of newer players fall victim to that kind of thing, so just know that you know you can defend yourself you can as long as you're making your way out of the territory after a territory fight you can fight you can defend yourself that is going to require some pausing and some stopping and some fighting it's not like you have to run full speed ahead out to the nearest exit and i see players putting that in loco all the time uh, that you have to find the nearest exit and leave as fast as possible. That's not what the rules say. They just say you have to make an undeviated path to an exit. So as long as you're heading towards an exit, any desired exit, and you are making an undeviated path towards there, so you're not stopping to drink or eat or, you know, linger around for any reason, you're just walking out, then that's fine. And if you get into a, a hunt or a battle and you have to defend yourself, you're certainly allowed to do that. So uh, just know that, you know, don't let, don't let the players that are more like bullies try to bully you out of, uh, you know, following rules that they're interpreting themselves to, uh, give themselves an advantage. You know, a lot of players will like to do that. They want to interpret the rule in such a way that's going to give them an advantage in a fight and just know the rules yourself and don't, don't let it, don't let that happen. You are allowed to fight. You are allowed to defend yourself and you are allowed to pause here and there if you have to, to defend yourself when you're on your way out of a territory fight. So this situation ended up being really, really good, um, even though I was super low health when we started, and on paper these aloes should have won the fight, and uh, I mean, my, my health was so low, they had every advantage in the world, there's two of them that are full health, they can target a low player that's being uh, pressured to get out of a territory fight that they just lost from a Rex, and they really should win this fight here. Um, but because I'm, you know, I'm experienced, I've got map knowledge, and I understand the terrain and how to use the terrain to my advantage, I can give myself every little tiny little advantage possible to give myself at least a fighting chance. And it was a beautiful thing in this situation because I was teaching Dito how to fight on a Giga, and so this opportunity arose that could have been a really bad situation but I was able to use it as a learning experience and turn it into a real positive situation because there was a dozen different things that came about that uh, Dito was able to learn uh, that he never, it, it could have taken three, four, five, who knows, half a dozen fights for him to learn all these different things that happened in this one scenario. I mean, we had a Rex territory fight. We had uh, 
you know, aloes chasing us when I was low health. So I had to show him, you know, how to escape, what you had to do, how you had to get out of the territory, what the rule really was when these players were trying to pressure us to get out. I was able to explain to him what I just explained to you guys. Um, able to use the terrain because I know the, I know the terrain and I know the map. So I knew the best exit to get out of there using the cliffs, using the rocks, using all that kind of stuff to get as much protection as possible against these aloes. And then I knew of this spot right here where I would be protected on both sides and it would give me the best fighting chance and so all that occurred in this one fight so I was able to run Dito through all that so it was actually actually really really uh, fortunate experience for us in that regard uh, even though I'm critically low on health and probably two three bites to death uh, so looking back uh, I was glad that it happened I was really really proud of Dito uh, he did an excellent job helping me fight he got to learn how to use all the different tools that the Giga has uh, there was a, a point right here coming up where um, he had never used the charge or the bulldoze uh, before on the Giga like I said this was his first time on an adult Giga so I said hey man try to use your charge right here you know when that when that aloe exposes himself and gets him into a situation where he's got his side you know showing and you have a clear path just do a charge on him and hit him and get a couple of bites in on him and that'll get him low for us you know and help us out and so he's you know asking me well which button is it and you know uh, how, well, how does it work what's going to happen and I'm trying to explain it all to him and so he had the courage to go ahead and try it you know and uh, in, a, in a situation like this where he was under a lot of pressure to to defend me and to, to help me and, and didn't have the experience to do it uh, he did it he did a really amazing job he kept his cool and he really followed instructions well and so uh, it, it, it was a huge huge help to have somebody that was that was able to to listen and to uh, execute the, the different things that I was that I was telling him to do when, when he did it um, now the aloes at this point are, they know that I'm in a really really good spot and this is a tough spot for them because they can get stuck in here they can take fall damage they can't get to me without getting hit themselves and that's really ultimately what you want to do in this type of situation is you've got to you've got to really limit their movement and you've got to make it to where if they get a bite on you you will definitely get a bite on them you can't have situations where you're in a spot where they're getting hits on you and you can't you can't hit back so that's where I'm at here at this point he was trying to do some tail wax he's trying to figure out whatever he could do whatever angle he could possibly get to try to get some tail hits on me because we're out of combat now and the the longer we're out of combat the better it is for me because I'm healing every step of the way so yeah it didn't work for his friends so his friends like oh here let me show you how to do this See, this is how you do it you back up you get up there and tail whack oh doesn't work nope not gonna work this is just not gonna happen <laughs> so and I could even crouch I was showing them you know you could try all you want man it's not gonna work so they were trying everything that they could nothing was working he comes in for his little uh, attempt here he took a I don't know if he took fall damage there but uh, we were able to get a couple of bites on him and that's fine as long as we can do that then I think we're in good shape he can come in like that and that's the that's the position that I the position that I'm in has forced that type of an engagement so they get in close enough to bite they're taking two gigabytes and uh, if we can continue that and keep that up this whole fight and be patient um, we both got gorge on and my hunger is still half I mean at half hunger I can last another hour at least um, and there again he comes in takes two bites and doesn't really get much damage in on us so that's exactly the kind of exchange I want to happen as much as possible and I think at this point by the looks of that blue aloe uh, we're probably at an equal playing field here that that, that uh, brown aloe is low he's probably half maybe a little less than half and that blue aloe is definitely less than half he's probably uh, a quarter or even less than a quarter so it's uh, the odds are starting to even up here a little bit and uh, that's good that that was the that's what we wanted that was the goal that all came through the patient so there he tries his charge and uh, he accidentally dives off that cliff and doesn't really hit the aloe but it leaves a situation where they think that they've got an advantage here and that at blue aloe was just way too low just three hits and he's dead so I just knew all we had to do was focus on him and 
get him out of there and get the fight won. And that was it. We got the fight won. I'm territory challenging this guy. I don't know why he just wants to hang around. He he was typing in chat earlier, so I figured, you know what, I just want him out of here. So I'm free calling him, flush him out of here. I don't like the players that like to stand there. After a fight, you should leave. Leave the line of sight of the, of the people you were fighting. Don't hang out there and start chatting and stuff. And I, I don't know why he was wanting to just stick around there and, 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 and you know, stay that close to the engagement. Um, he should have just started running away. But So I, I gave him a little nudge there, encouraged him to, to get out of the area, and he, he, he did. So it's all good. We say our GGs. And, uh, yeah, that was a one HP and a dream there. Excellent fight. One of the best fights I've had. Uh, and I was really glad to have that experience with Dito. So thanks, Dito, for your help. Awesome fight. And I'm glad uh, you were there with me. And thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I do hope to see you out there in Gondola. Goodbye.